Hello guys, this is Code in Code and this is video editorial for the problem cut and stick taken from Code, uh, code Forces Div2 Round 716. The problem was D and is rated 2000. So the problem statement is you are given an integers and and Q queries of the form L comma R. So basically you have to pre-process, oh, sorry, you have to process subarray from L to R. You can divide the subarray into or disjoint subsequences and you have to divide the subarray into minimum number of subsequences and each subsequence that must follow this condition that is uh, if x is the size of subsequence then the most frequent element in the subsequence should not have frequency more than seal of x by 2 you already know right 5 by 2 would be 2.5 2.5 seal of 2.5 would be 3 okay there's a seal function and there's a floor function i'm assuming you know already that so uh we have to divide the subarray into minimum number of subsequences but keeping in mind that each subsequence uh if its size is x then any element which is inside this subsequence should not have frequency more than seal of x by 2 right if i explain this by example so suppose this was an integer array this is the query from 2 to 5 so starting from here till here i guess uh 2 3 4 5 here from here to here right so the answer would be two why because if you try to uh divide this array into only one subsequence what would happen frequency of three is here three and since the number of elements are four four by two is two right and frequency of three is greater than seal of x by two right that's why we can't divide it into one subsequence so we can divide it into two how see first put 3 to 3 into one subsequence and this 3 into another subsequence so see 3 to 3 follows first rule so does the second one okay that's why the answer is 2 so this is the problem statement you can go through the uh, problem statement on the website as well i'll be putting the link of the problem in the description uh, in the description of the video so you can go through the problem statement yourself so let's see how we'll solve this problem so let's see what are the prerequisites first you uh, will be using a uh, square decomp i mean mo's algorithm which in turn uses square decomposition so you should have the knowledge of square decomposition mo's algorithm and i have also uploaded the editorial for swatch free q problem uh fre q2 problem okay so uh, i have courses on of course on square decomposition and mo's algorithm a link of which i'll be putting in the description of the video if you if you not already know mo's algorithm go ahead and learn it uh, and of course you need to go through this editorial as well uh, i'll be putting the link of this editorial in the description as well because we'll be utilizing the knowledge and almost all of the code used to solve this problem this free queue problem into this problem okay so go through all of this if you haven't already done that so let's go for the observations the first observation is the most obvious observation if uh, for the given subarray if the most frequent element the frequency of most frequent element is less than or equals to seal of x by 2 then there is no problem right you can you can take the whole subarray as a subsequence and none of the element will have frequency more than uh, seal of x by 2 right because the most frequent element even even the most frequent element is not having frequency greater than seal of x y2 so none of the element will have frequency greater than x y2 and again x would be the size of subsequence okay for example if this is the input and this is 3 to 7 okay 3 4 5 6 7 okay from here to here so here you see size is 5 so seal of x by 2 would be 3 and we see the most frequent element is 3 frequency of this is 3 so 3 is less than equals to 3 of course so you can take the whole sub array as a subsequence and answer would be 1 right now what if there is one element with frequency greater than seal of x by 2 <laughs> uh, it may sound a foolish question but that i'm going to just state now uh how would you prove that there can't be there will be uh, okay there can't be two elements with frequency greater than seal of x by 2 i mean this is very very easy and sound uh, sounds foolish but still i want you to prove it uh theoretically okay so see what if there is one element and there if there is one element with frequency x by 2 there will only be one element with frequency more than x by 2 okay there can't be more than one element with frequency more than x by 2 okay so if there is one element with frequency x greater than x by 2 that is a problem right because now we can't take the whole sub array and make it a subsequence now we have to divide 
uh, we have to divide it into multiple subsequences okay so suppose the query was from here to here this is the sub array for which we want to calculate the answer now what we can do you know uh, since we need to divide it into the minimum number of subsequences so our primary goal is to make a subsequence as big as possible right each subsequence should have as many element as possible so the first sequence uh, subsequence which i can make out of this is two times count of remaining element plus one what is remaining element first of all so uh, the most frequent element is four here right and the other element which are not the most frequent element are, are the elements which i'm calling the remaining element in this case one and two so the frequency uh, the count of rem uh, remaining elements are two one and two so two times two plus one once it's a uh, subsequence i can form of length five how uh, take all of the remaining elements along with that take the same number of most frequent elements so these two along with these two would make a valid subsequence right because most frequent element in this subsequence would be this itself right so that won't create any problem then why plus one see you can add one extra four or one extra most frequent element and it would still be a valid subsequence see here now the number of elements are five so seal of five by two is three and the most frequent element a count of most frequent element is three right so this way you will be able to create it uh, utilize how many elements these many elements two times a count of remaining element plus one this is the maximum uh, this is the biggest subsequence you can form out of it if you try to add one more element that will create a problem so now in one subsequence i am able to utilize these many elements uh, so how you would find out the count of remaining element uh, it is easy uh, this is where the solution of frequent uh, to problem comes in because in frequent problem you have to find the frequency of most frequent element okay so we'll use square decomposition of mo's algorithm to find out frequency of most frequent element which in this case comes out to be four right and how many elements are there in the sub array with which we are working six so how many remaining element will be there six minus most frequent element uh, frequency of most frequent element which is two so this way we'll be able to count the uh, remaining elements i mean count of remaining elements if i show you here it is uh, you can see i'm reading all of the queries beforehand and after that sorting the query which basically is uh, your uh, mo's algorithm right so what i'm doing here see total number of element would be r minus l plus one right and then remaining element will be total number of elements minus current max current max represents uh, frequency of most frequent element so this represents your remaining element if of course the most frequent element is less than equals to half which is our observation first answer would be one right so answer of this query is equals to one otherwise i'll tell you what happens so i was just telling how you can calculate the remaining element all you have to do is take total number of elements minus most frequent element right so this would form a single subsequence what happens for the remaining element all of the remaining element will be same why because they will be a most frequent element right because non most frequent element we have already utilized here in the first subsequence right so the remaining elements are actually all of the same and when you are left with all of the same element you can only form a single length subsequence for example uh, if the range was this 4 4 okay range was only this the answer would be 2 why because all of the elements are same and then you will be able to form only one length subsequence right so how many elements are uh, how many elements will be remaining non-utilized element which will be which will be i mean which will be total minus length of first subsequence and length of sub first subsequence is two times count of remaining elements plus one right so subtract this so these many subsequences plus one subsequence this so what would be the answer uh, answer would be total minus two times count of remaining element right because of course add this plus one what would come out total minus two times count of remaining elements this would be your solution say so here you can see total minus two times or uh, two times count of remaining elements this is your solution okay i'll be providing the uh, solution in the description of the video so you can go ahead and see uh, and 
of course use it as a reference so if you still have any doubt you can ask in the comment section so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching until the next video drops keep coding thank you